it's delicious baby hi guys welcome to my cooking show please remember to like share and subscribe <music> hi guys welcome to my cooking show today i'll be showing you how to make jackfruit patty now these are the ingredients you're going to need jackfruit breadcrumbs garlic powder my everyday seasoning Worcestershire sauce soya sauce white pepper onion um flakes beef your ground beef onion scallion and thyme now here i'm giving you a view of all my ingredients guys i i put my my beef in the microwave that's why it has two different color don't tie your meat in the microwave guys now that you have seen all my ingredients let's get into it so now here i'm separating the jackfruit from the skin and the seed it's a bit tedious guys i'm not sure of what i'm doing i'm just taking out all the yellow part that looks like the fruit and that looks edible to me so i'm just gonna continue to do this and when I'm finished, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. okay guys here i got all the fruit out and this is what it looks like it's smelling so good guys i taste it and it's really sweet i used to eat this fruit back home but i've never bought it in the skin i always get it like this so i have no idea how to take it out the skin but i got it out now here i'm chopping the jackfruit i'm just gonna chop it in small pieces basically i'm dice i'm gonna go ahead and dice it because it's ground beef i think it's best to let the size be the same as the ground beef so here i'm dicing my jackfruit you don't have to dice it if you don't want to guys you can just roughly chop yours if you want to see more of your jackfruit in your patty filling guys also the jackfruit has a lot of stains when you're taking it out the skin it's best to wear a glove when you're trying to separate your jackfruit from the skin now i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a bowl then i'm gonna dice my onion here i have one yellow onion I'm going to use a half of it. I hope you can see what I'm doing, guys. I'm basically making cuts in the onion, like slices. Then I'm going to turn it around and make my dice 
Remember what I always say, guys. Every slice make a dice. Guys, be careful with your knife. My knife is so sharp. Now I'm just going to chop my onion. Guys, it's important to keep your 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 keep your seasoning or your fruits, whatever you're cutting, just keep it at the same size. It looks better. So I'm gonna cut, chop, dice my onion as small as I did with my jackfruit. Right here, I'm done dicing my onion now i'm gonna go ahead and chop my scallion scallion is also known as green onion just roughly chop guys roughly chop now here i have a pot on the stove make sure you put your heat to medium low heat make sure your pot is at the correct temperature before you add your oil here i'm just putting in one teaspoon of um olive oil i don't want to put a lot of oil guys because the beef already has a lot of fat in it now i just add my onion now i'm gonna go ahead and add some more oil Now I'm just caramelizing my onion, guys. After my onion is caramelized, I'm going to go ahead and put one teaspoon of garlic. You don't want to put the garlic in at the beginning with the onion because you don't want the garlic to burn and just keep stirring guys Basically, I'm trying to get the, the flavor to infuse. That's important, guys. It may look like nothing now, but it, it's important. It makes a difference to get the onion and the garlic to um, the flavor to combine and infuse like what I'm doing here. Mm -mm. smelling so good this is smelling so good and you see it's not burning because i have my stove and low heat at this point now i'm adding my jackfruit keep stirring guys you don't want your jackfruit to burn as i said if you want you can cut your jackfruit um at a bigger size if that's convenient to you or if you want to put it in whole as you take it from the skin that's fine maybe you want to bite in a chunk of jackfruit you can do that i prefer to do it this way now i'm adding my thyme 
also i did add a little water because i didn't want the fruit to burn now i'm gonna go ahead and season my jackfruit but you don't have to season your jackfruit at this point guys you can wait until you put in your ground meat your minced beef then you just season it at once Okay, here I'm adding my everyday seasoning. Then I'm just going to stir it around and let it saute. And remember guys, at this point, you need your heat to be on low. You don't want this to burn. You see, there is no oil in the pot, guys. You don't want to cook your food with a lot of oil and then it's just all greasy at the end. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add my ground beef. Guys, I my ground beef was frozen and I put it in the microwave just for like 8 seconds to thaw it out and it was cooking on the outside. So that's why my ground beef has two different colors. Don't thaw your meat in the microwave, guys. I mean, it's, it's recommended that you can do it. But for some reason, every time I try to thaw my meat in the microwave, it's cooking on the outside but the inside is solid is still frozen so now I'm just combining my ground beef with my jackfruit and my god it's smelling so good it's smelling good guys at this point you can turn your heat up to medium yes guys put your heat to medium heat and let this baby cook oh my god i wish y'all could smell this deliciousness Guys, I think I would eat this as a meal. Like, I think I'm going to make this as a meal or with some white rice or something. I'm going to try it like that after I make my beef patties. Sometime in the future, I'm going to try it like that. Because this is smelling so good. Guys, I, 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 I know what I'm going to eat this with. I'm going to make this with some spaghetti. Yes. 
Now I'm just seasoning my beef. I'm putting in my my adobo and my black pepper. Now I'm just going to let this stay here and do its thing. Okay guys, I'm just making sure that the beef doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot because there's basically no oil in this dish. There's a little to no oil. You see how the beef is producing the liquid? That's good, guys. So you don't need a lot of oil to cook your ground beef. Now I'm just adding in my green onion. Guys, never don't don't add your green onion in the beginning because it's going to burn in a second it's going to burn please don't put your green onion in hot oil unless you're just using it to um make a stir fry so here i add my green onion And I'm just going to let this cook. At some point, I'm going to go ahead and add a little water. And let it come to a boil and reduce. There I add a little water, guys. You didn't see when I put the water, but I went in and add like one third of a cup of water. Just enough to cover the meat. Now I'm adding my rest assured sauce and my soya sauce. I add like one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of soy sauce. Then I'm going to go in with my breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs is going to take all of the liquid out of your, your, your patty meat. Yes, guys look how the breadcrumbs is just gonna absorb all that liquid and that's what you need guys you don't have to use the breadcrumbs but i like to use the breadcrumbs because it makes my patty meat soft and smooth there isn't a lot of liquid when I do it with the breadcrumbs. But if you don't have the breadcrumbs, you're just going to have the meat running all over in your patty. In your patty crust, sorry. Now 
now look at that. You see what I was telling you about the breadcrumbs? Look at that. All the liquid is gone. Look at that, guys. You see what I was talking about? Look at that. Now that is what you're looking for. This is perfect for your patty crust. It won't be running out through the sides. Look at that. That's what you're looking for, guys. Now that my patty meat is complete, I'm going to turn the stove off and leave it so it can cool down. Yes, guys, you have to let it cool down before you can go ahead and make your patties with it. has to be completely cool before you can add it to your crust now here I'm basically showing you how I fill my crust this is my patty crust I made it from scratch I have a video of how I make my patty crust. You can go ahead and check out that video. I hope I upload it in time when I upload um, this patty. But this is how you should roll out your crust. Then you're going to add your patty meat in the center. After adding your patty meat, you can go ahead and fold it over, guys. It's like you're wrapping yourself in a blanket. You just roll over in your blanket. It's the same thing you're doing here. You just fold over, press on the sides, then you're going to get a fork and some water. You're going to get a cup with water. Here I'm going to show you a, an example of how to do it. Okay, here I have my water and my fork. You're going to put your fork in the water. Then you're just going to press it and the ends are the edge of the patty. The water is going to help to seal your patty. So that's what I'm doing. Just press it on the ends. Be gentle, guys. You don't want the fork to cut through your crust you're just trying to seal it so be gentle so here I'm showing you how to seal it and that's what it should looks like when you're done sealing now you're gonna get yourself a pizza cutter and you're just gonna trim around your patty just like that and that's it that's it guys beautiful now here I did all my patties now I'm just gonna brush my patties 
with my egg wash then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven guys I use one egg and two one tablespoon of whole milk then I whisk my egg um, together the milk and the egg then I went ahead and brush it now I'm going to go preheat my oven make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees make sure your oven is at the correct temperature before you put your patty in then you're going to let your patty bake for 18 to 20 minutes until it has the desired color you're looking for some people don't put the egg wash on their patties guys but I like to put it on mine I think it gives me a better crust so yeah this is my way of doing it now here is my end product guys here is my jackfruit patty I'm happy with the color I just love my patties right now it's smelling so good my house is smelling like patty and I'm loving it my god guys look at that look at this beautiful patty now I'm gonna break it for you to see guys look at that look at the inside guys it's not greasy it's just beautiful